I cut off my dick and put it on a shrine to you. I'm going to throw gummy bears at you and see if I can hit you in the eyes so when you are shortly blinded, I can make my move to get your phone and put my phone number into it. And when you try to take it back, I'll hold it in the air so you can't reach unless you jump. As you jump, I catch throw you on your bed and dot, 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 give you back your phone and ask if you want a pillow fight, then take a pillow and beat you with it till your boobs pop out. And I'm like, hey, not fair, only one pillow allowed. So you are out after that, I will tell you to make me bleed, hand you a brick, and say break my jaw, and make me drink my own blood. All in all, good weekend, I think anyway. Same again next time. Returns of eye elliptics on the finger my butthole to her voice. I would kill myself just to be reincarnated as that very chair. Shh, Illy, remember me, bae? Illy, just shh. OMG, I remember you. Stop. You are a very... Beauty, bye again. I want to lick her eyes. Your mouth is dirty and purty. If you close your eyes and listen to her release, it sounds like a porno. I masturbated out of the womb to the thought of Blondie and I masturbated out of the womb to the thought of Blondie and Jules. When I was a young child, my mother and father said I'd never be able to touch their boobs. I still haven't, but it's okay. One day I will see Blondie and grab her boobs like I did while I was in the military to my mother's uncle's cat. Good night, people. Blondie, the things I would do to you, and Jules, the dream I've had about you. Oh, just nasty things. Winky face. I'm not even worthy of looking at your blessed titties. When you show any amount of cleavage, even a centimeter, I put black bars up on my screen and block it out. I'm a getting a weirdly, seriously, getting a bonar. Your dad has hot voice. Thanks for watching.